Oh well, welcome back everybody. Now, we just came home from Ar uh, from Arlhau estate. Let's let's go see. Hey, Shell. Hmm? Hello. Excuse me. The Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentionable. <laughs> oh really? You've spoken to Queen Anora? Well, not much. Just may I air that for you, my lady? She's brought a maid of her own to wait on her. Yeah. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. <sighs> Hello. Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Catherine's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. Nope. That churl needed to learn her place now, did she? <laughs> churn. Churl. Churn. Whatever that means. I don't I honestly don't know what that means, but it must be bad, right? <laughs> churl. Maybe I'm saying a bad word repeatedly. <laughs> that would be hilarious. So what happens now? We will need to work together and quickly. Mm -hmm. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind controlled me. He may even believe it. Well, he's probably killing two birds with one stone now, is he? So she confirms that he's out of it with out of his wits. Can he still take the throne without you? Perhaps. It will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the lands meet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake Howe is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the lands meet, and there I can help. Mm. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Mm -hmm. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that how and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Hal's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. Well, Mira agrees that <laughs> they need a stronger candidate to the throne. But anyway, dear Emon, she's not stupid, of course. She made us rescue her before uh, telling what she knows, right? Makes sense, it sound. Mira would have probably done the same. And just how are you stronger? Mm. And we should trust you. Why? You don't need to trust me. We have the same goal. That is far better than trust. Is it? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see and it? No, no, I can Not see it. Not only that. <laughs> Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, mm. despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already Queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. 
Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denaran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I can see. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Oh, what trouble exactly? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for low game. Indeed, Mira has thought the same. Uh, Honora is an ally now, but what about the future? I mean, she can always turn her back on Mira and company now, can she? Regardless, I think she would make a better ruler than Alistair, with no doubt, without doubt. Anora was a capable administrator for Kaelin's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. But Alistair's mother was a scullery maid. How is he better? Um, thanks. <laughs> I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Ferrin, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Kaelin and Honora would secure the succession. Alistair doesn't know the first thing about being king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. Mm. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate. And how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid, should that Indeed. fail him. Right? Yeah. I see where you're going with that. I know how to lead. He doesn't know how to lead. I still think Anora is more skilled. Why is it so important to put Marik's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Olesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. So you prefer an incompetent king that can be swayed than a competent, already established queen just because she's not of the blood? Mm. I'm still... Uh... Mira is still thinking that Anora is the right bet for a queen. Um, by the way, um, Mira kind of fears Anora as much as she feared Branca. Maybe fear is not the right word, but both Branca and Anora are women, are determined women that know how to play the game. And Mira is another one that knows how to. Um, Branca was a paragon, uh, Anora is a queen, and uh, um, Mira is the head of the Grey Warden for now in Forelden, but she's in disgrace now, so she's uh, in a lower position. Um, she got rid of Branca because she needed to, because Branca, Mira is pretty sure that she wouldn't have been able to manipulate Branca or to have her own way with Branca. With Anora now, this is another thing, a different thing, because maybe there could be some even ground between the two of them. And Anora is not crazy. She has arguments and, uh, I mean, she's, she's not saying one thing that is wrong from Mira's point of view. So Mira actually respects her. We okay. certainly have a great deal to plan. 
What do you think he's doing in the alien age? In alien age? We mean Logan, of course. We met a prisoner from the alien age in Harl House estate now, did we? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Oh, well, thank you for the course, insight. <laughs> if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Alora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. Indeed, I agree with that. Alistair, do you have something to say about this? I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Oh. Your desire is my command. I don't think you have of anything course. to say. Nah. Uh, unfortunately, we will have to go back at camp from, from once in a while because some dialogue only happens when you are at camp. Let's go to Anora quickly and see if we can Going. find some common ground. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. Is it? My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Indeed you would, maybe, if we come out of this together. So are you proposing an alliance then? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. What happens to Loghain if you are a queen? He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Indeed. I would rather he lived. He could be useful. I am glad to hear it. In the end, it will be up to the landsmeet to decide, I think. Mm. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? You're hasty. Make your case, then. Why should I support you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Kaelin's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Bannon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. What say you then? Your support for mine in the lands meet? I think I would need more than just your support. Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish. And I shall. Mm. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better. The gratitude of a weak king or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think of what I could do for your people. I trust I have made my point. Yeah, uh, what sh can she do for uh, uh, Mira's people doesn't interest Mira because as we already know, she's not, she's not considering... Uh, the elves much she feels like she's above elves <laughs> i don't know how to explain this concept but i'm sure you have understood it um hmm. she's definitely a better candidate than alistair i'm i'm not gonna ask the, that question if you plan on your um on your play to support alistair then you might want to ask these questions I think we are going to agree and uh, support her in the lands meet. Mira doesn't feel very sure, like a hundred percent sure. She wish she wishes she could lock um, Anora into a more a stricter deal, and she will do it later. We'll see how she will do it later. But for now, she feels a little bit insecure. But she does want to support her absolutely. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, Warden. 
I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. Mm. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Hmm. Maybe I would like to ask you something? Ask me whatever you like. I'd like to understand Loghain better, if possible. Ah, uh, well, he was once a farmer when he was a boy, if you can believe it. <laughs> I never could myself. He's useless with plants, for one thing. I remember my mother once asking his help with a sick rose vine. My mother oversaw the rose gardens personally. He touched it. No more than that. And it shed half its leaves like a dog with mange. <laughs> she never asked for him to help with her roses again. He bought her another one, though. He carried it back from Denerem with the branches overflowing his saddlebag. Despite the thorns tearing him bloody, he wouldn't let anyone else take it. He wanted to be the one to present it to her. Hmm. My father has his faults, Warden. But he is far from common. I have no doubt of that. There's a reason why he's famous. Is it truly beyond reason? I hope not. But I fear it is so, yes. Why would he ever have trusted Arl Owl? Trust would perhaps be putting it too strongly. Mm. My father knew what Howe was. And while I despised the man, I knew that father relied on his political mind. I expect my father thought himself above being influenced by the snake. Truly, I wonder how many of these acts stemmed from Howe and not my father at all. We may never know. Why doesn't he back down? Because he believes he is right, Warden. He thinks he is the only one who can see Ferelden out of its current crisis, even if it is one he helped engineer. My father is capable of remarkable blindness, but it stems from his love of Ferelden. That is the saddest part of all, I think. I think I can understand. Did he plan overthrowing Caelan before Ostaga? I'm not sure. I had no inkling of my father's plans until Caelan was already dead. I would like to think that my father planned for the worst, but did not truly decide that Caelan was a lost cause until that moment in Ostagar. The alternative is difficult to imagine. Okay, then. Ask me whatever you like. Does it make you uncomfortable siding against your father? Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? But how much worse would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? Caelan was a fool, but he didn't deserve his death. A harsh judgment, but not untrue. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked remaining the silent wife in my husband's shadow. Why did Logan leave Caelan to die? Do you know? Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his storybook and he was the hero. Uh, my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously. Never for long. Caelan would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. I can see very well both point of view. No. Yeah, it makes sense for Loghain to have that fear, that kind of fear, knowing who he is and what he has done. What if we told the people what really happened to Caelan? They would not believe it, most of them, even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and mm -hmm. tyrant. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. 
We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands, or they will never believe us. Well, I guess I'm sorry for your loss. It was more than just my own loss. But I thank you all the same. Okay. Ask me whatever you like. What do you think will happen after the landsmith? Do you want me to try my luck at fortune telling? <laughs> I don't know. There was an old woman who read palms in the village of Gwarren when I was a child. She told me that I would have ten children and be bald as a winter heat when I grew up. I can't say I put much faith in foretelling. Nor do I. What will happen depends much on you, Warden. But you certainly knew that already. Kind of. <laughs> Mira does know that she's being very influential. But she needs her position confirmed. And uh, yeah, we'll see if hopefully Anora will uh, maintain, uh, will keep her part of the bargain. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Hmm. You guys, do you have anything to talk about? I don't think so. This is not as defensible as I would like, yeah. but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? Do I want to discuss something you mentioned? Speak then. You said something earlier about mages? Maybe this is something he said in uh, Banter? We have no mages such as you do. We have beasts in the shape of men oh. who perform tricks. Why don't you have mages? I thought you had mages. We have mages. We simply don't have the sort you do. How? Aren't they the same? What's that supposed to mean? Our mages are controlled to do less harm than yours. Okay. They have their tongues cut out and are kept in pens. Okay. I uh, don't. I don't know why I thought they just killed them, uh, and then I remember the that in fact they do enslave them, and use them as uh, fighting troops. Why have magic at all if it's so evil? We live in the world and magic is part of it. One might as well reject the sky. Shara. You could kill them. We're going to fight the dark spawn or chatter until they grow bored and leave. You don't want to have this discussion. As you wish. <laughs> Stan. Hey Morrigan. If one more servant asks if I yeah, yeah. a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? <laughs> What comes, my friend? So, I don't think. Full of questions, are you? <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah, I, I think we need. Uh, we will need to go back to camp because definitely there's some dialogue that's not triggering in here. I don't know why. That's that was a bad decision because supposedly you don't want to move from here, since I mean you don't really want to go back to camp since you. All the quests you have now left are in Denerim. Now, would you? Everything hey. in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Okay. It doesn't have better things to do. So, you're female. I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? Well, I'm a female. Good for it. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. Uh, I am a female myself. I think it's great. Ah, oh, yes. Female bonding and all that. Ra. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes? Yes. Yes, I love you, Shell. <laughs> yeah, that is a very girly thing to do. <laughs> hey, Zebran. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bed bugs had fleas. <laughs> God. Your wish. Do you have something to say to me? Whatever you'd like to ask. Care to tell me about that last mission now? Yes, I suppose Ooh. this time. You have been a good friend to me after all. There is no reason to be silent. 
There is a reason I accepted this mission in Ferelden, far away from home, and it had nothing to do with any thought that I might leave the Crows. Meeting you, after all, was quite an accident. My last mission before this one did not end well. Um, so what happened? You must realize that until that day I was cocky and arrogant. I was the best crow in Antiva, I believed, and I bragged of my conquests often, both as an assassin and lover. And how have you changed? <laughs> Indeed, I was often told I was insufferable right before I ended up in bed with someone. Such is how it was. One of the crow masters grew tired of my boasting. My bid for an incredibly difficult mark was accepted, much to my surprise. A wealthy merchant with many guards and completely silent. Talison agreed to be part of my team, as well as an elven lass named Rina. She was a marvel, tough, smooth, wicked, eyes that gleamed like justice. Everything I thought I desired. Uh-uh. Rina was special. I had closed off my heart, I thought. But she touched something within me. It frightened me. When Talison revealed to me that Rina had accepted a bribe from the merchant, told him of our plan, I readily agreed that she needed to pay the price and allow Talison to kill her. Rina begged me not to. On her knees, with tears in her eyes, she told me that she loved me and had not betrayed us. I laughed in her face and said that even if it were true, I didn't care. So, uh, you killed her? Talison cut her throat and I watched her bleed as she stared up at me. I spat on her for betraying the crows. When Talison and I finally assassinated the merchant, we found the true source of his information. Rina had not betrayed us, after all. Ugh. Well, you said it yourself. That happens. Yes, that happens. I wanted to tell the crows what we had done, our mistake. Talison convinced me not to. He said it would be a foolish waste. So we reported that Rina had died in the attempt. We needn't have bothered. The crows knew what we had done. The master who disliked me told me so to my face. He said the crows knew, and they didn't care. And one day, my turn would come. Why would he do that? To rub it in my face, perhaps. That I was nothing. That she was nothing. You once asked why I wanted to leave the crows. In truth, what I wanted was to die. What better way than to throw myself at one of the fabled Grey Wardens? And then this happened, and here I am. Do you still want to die? No. What I want is to begin again. Whatever it is I sought by leaving Antiva, I think I have found it. I owe you a great deal. <laughs> You bet your ass you do. Let us return to your mission, shall we? Suddenly I do not feel like standing about. <laughs> hey, Liliana. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Mm, do you have something to say? Yes? What's on your mind? Ooh. Uh, did we already... Do you have tales to share? I think we already talked about that. Do you miss anything about Orle? I miss Valroyau. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyau was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyau, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. Hmm. I've never been to Orle. If you get the chance, you should see it. At least Val Royale. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orle, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Fine things? What sort of things? Dresses. Fine dresses and furs. 
And shoes, of course. Oh. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Mm -hmm. Orle is very fashionable. Almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes. Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Mm, I think I saw them in a, some illustrations that were going... <laughs> that, you know, they were... The girls were sharing in the tower. I love shoes. When I left Orlé, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that sounds so lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. Mm. The shoes made in Ole were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, <laughs> just look at them. I know, right? So ugly and shapeless. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Indeed. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day. Mm -hmm. But we have things to do, don't we? <laughs> Oh, I love this game. <laughs> Who are you? I hope all the accommodations are <laughs> Okay, home. bye. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. Um, I think we will be going out quickly because we have to take care of, um, of some things. We have something to report in the tavern and we... And that's it. Well...